Pull up a chair. This is Flexible episode 243, recorded on January 1st, 2019. We still got it. On the docket today, it's 2019. What you playing featuring Jack Ryan and Super Mario Party? Finally, we'll close out the show with the community grab bag and that sweet, sweet, awkward finish. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And please enjoy the show. Well, I'm glad that 2019 looks to be headed right along the same pace of 2018. Welcome back to Flexbos. I hope you missed us because we missed you and we're happy to be back in your ear holes, in your eyeballs, and all the things. I am Jason. I am joined once again, almost always, with my man, Mr. Lucas Rose. Hello. Hey, dude. Hi. Uh, how are you? Hi. Hi. Really... Hi Fuj- there we go. Hey. Hey, everybody. You're like, wah. That's what they're like. They're like, wah. Patrick, wah. Wah. Wow. What's up? It's like we haven't um, done this in a long time. It feels, feels like, like it. it. Uh, jinx. Mm-hmm. You owe me a sodi pop. Same wavelength. Yeah, it's tough getting back into the to the groove, the New York groove. Yeah, word. you know, it's it's funny. You take a, just one week off, and it's like everything falls apart. But then it's like at the end of the year, I don't know, taking that one week off feels so different too because it's like you close the books on 2018, and now it's like – not that we do seasons or anything like that, but, you, you know, you always think of a new year as a new, a new beginning, a new, a new chapter in the, the saga – a flux to post a new volume in our omnibus, you know. Yes, I like yes. it. Yes, so stay a while and listen. <laughs> that too. Yeah, man. I, I, I don't know what this journey. That, uh, full disclosure, guys. We're probably gonna have kind of a bit of a free flow show, which you know how that goes with us. Usually, pretty poorly. I should have brought but... beer for this. Clearly. <laughs> I didn't either, uh, but I wanted to kind of you know, recap a little bit of 2018, talk about where we're heading in 2019, but we've got all the all the usual business to get out of the way, and really, you know, IRL, man, I don't, I don't have a lot to catch you up on. You know, the holidays are chaotic and crazy and busy, and I did a lot of traveling, and, I, you know, I, I go back to work tomorrow for the first time in almost two weeks, and it's just like, I'm not, I'm not I'm not looking forward to that, but I will hit you up. I don't want to talk about, you know, Christmas or anything, because that was great. Spending time with family, spending time, a lot of time with my son and my wife. But I, I do have two details I want to hit you up on. Okay. Uh, number one, number one, I was like, I finally, finally was the, got around to it. I was like, you know, my back brakes are like shot. I really need to get the brakes done on my car. So I, I dropped that off on Monday. I gotta have all four brakes done, rotors, pads, calipers. Good lord! And he's like, "Cause this is me. This is me, right?" Uh, he's like, "You know, usually I wouldn't do this to anyone, or I wouldn't say this, but my mechanic looked at it and he's like, your one ball joint is like, you shouldn't even probably be driving it.'" And I was like, "All right, change that too." So I'm pretty sure you know that weird cre- sound I've always heard. Yeah. When I always talked about turning, that was probably that ball joint like slowly failing for like. I feel like we've talked about that like over. Well, I I know I first noticed that noise was before Aiden was born because I remember talking to my dad about it when we were working on uh, finishing off the the spare bedroom. So I guess it you know it it had its course. So I don't really want to talk to you how much that's cost me, but let's just say any of the money I got for Christmas, that's where it's all going. So. You should have brought it to the old. Ro- Actually, no, it's too cold. The it's Rose too garage cold, is, is and close. It probably would have taken us a long time to do it. Yeah, ball problem. joints are not brakes are are not too bad, but ball joints are are pretty. In my experience, I've only done the one, but they were it was rough. You know what seems dumb to me? The whole concept of drum brakes. Drum brakes seem stupid. Yeah, I don't. I've never done them myself. Pad brakes. My rear brakes are my rear brakes are drum brakes, and yeah. it just seems they're cheaper. That's yeah. really all it comes down. The hardware and stuff. Oh. It's cheaper for them to manufacture them. Uh, that's they're really probably charging it. the same no matter what, though. Yeah, probably. <laughs> It's all I, I don't even know what the, yeah, right. I don't. I don't even know what the total is. He gave me the, like the breakdown. I just was like, I it in my head as he went. I was just like, so I get. I'll, I'll get the car back sometime tomorrow. But it's just like, 
Man, not, not that I was looking forward to like you know lavishing myself with gifts, but we were talked about you know maybe saving that and use it to maybe go on vacation yeah, at some point. I had seen and, you say well, that. There, there went that idea at least for the savings. So, um, you know, it's just like I feel like I do every year. It's like okay, wait for tax returns, and then we can get back ahead of get yep. back ahead of yep. the game, yep. you know, again. Plan although, although spending... I, I do feel like 2019 will be a bit better because once they do get their tax returns, then they can get that that hospital bill gone so there it's like two hundred dollars i'm spending every month and yeah. because um it changes my insurance plan that's like another extra 140 so like we get if i can just limp until april <laughs> i'll have like an extra 300 ish per in, month to work with it five my god years. i might be able to put maybe a hundred of that in the bank every month we would be living the dream why would you want to do that you've got I, cars to, I, I like, parts to buy and <sighs> You know, it sucks, Based you know, the car maintenance, but that's the first major work I've had to do, I've had to have done on that car since before my son was born. So it's been, it's been a while and it sucks to spend money on that thing. But at the same time, I only have 145,000 miles, I think on that car and I only drive it to and from work. So yeah. theoretically, that I can probably drive that <laughs> car a long time. I mean, it depends on, you know, if I ever, if it something like catastrophically wrong you know fails on it explodes but exactly but for, i'm perfectly okay with that continuing to be the work beater you know i don't i don't need it there could so. be worse work beaters it's not even that bad it's not like it's rusting it, out or anything or no it just the suspension is the only thing that really needs to get fixed up because that's pretty rough but now with the, with the brakes on you know it and should the ball be pretty, joint and the ball joint it should be pretty nice well as nice as that car can be i mean i i've kind of let it go i have kind of and stop taking care of it as much as I should be, but doesn't sound like <sighs> it. You 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 got it. You got it into the salon for a new shiny. Well, yeah, because the b- rear brakes were so bad when you try to stop, you get that nice <laughs> grinding. Yeah, like there was no pad left. I grown. I rode those down to. I like had it mastered, like rolling to a stop, and just enough pressure. You put just enough pressure on the on the brake to use all the front and you wouldn't oh God, it's so bad it's so dumb well i mean if you let the pads go long or the shoes go long enough eventually they'll just be they'll get better because it'll be metal on metal instead of uh the whatever they use for the brake pad the actual part yeah. that's supposed to be touching the <laughs> that's supposed to be yeah, doing or, all the stopping or, or, right uh so that that was that sucked but i've made peace with it you know it's like Oh, well, it is what it is. We know. That reminds me, actually. I have, I'm having a car issue right now. The Our radio just randomly doesn't work. Hey, so I know what that was like. You turn on the car, and it, the radio makes a beep. Like, it goes beep, and then uh, through the speakers. But the funny part is, is it'll... It's like, it's like the old computer. Uh, it's like the Mobo speaker Oh, yeah, style. yeah, yeah. Like, when you turn on the Mobo computer. And, beeps, yep. It beeps through the air beeps. <laughs> Pretty much. Um but here's the weird thing the, it actually still works. You can use the steering wheel controls like the, yeah. the radio won't, won't light up or anything to let you know that it's actually working, but it is. And you can use the tape deck on there so I can still use my basically aux in and uh, you can control the volume through the steering wheel controls. You just can't see yeah, anything yeah. on the actual radio itself. So that's really weird. So we're limping that's... by until we can change that up, but it's very annoying. That's weird. Yeah. It's very weird. Uh, you think it just wouldn't work. It'd either work or not work. Not like yeah. halfway work. So, um, and then related to holiday travel, we were in Detroit. We took Aiden to the Henry Ford museum, which was really cool. And he loved it. Like running around the museum. They had this giant, like 20 foot Christmas tree that he loved. They got to, you Whoa. know, see, um, I don't know what, what air, what, what, what model plane it would have been, but I think it was actually, the actual plane you know, a giant plane he got to walk up underneath and just stuff like that he never saw in real life he loved like looking at the cars and all this other stuff so it was great to take him around there and like much of we talked about just with the holidays just being able to see go through and experience stuff like that through your kids eyes as like a mm-hmm. total totally different experience and then lastly we we threw I, I was gonna say we threw caution to the wind we didn't throw caution to the wind we we made a we talked as a family <laughs> we and made a very we decided, measured and, decision and we decided because I'm sure there's both sides of the coin here, but we thought, you know, maybe there is something he's missing out on and something that could help him. We have introduced screen time wow. into Aiden's, That's Aiden's routine. So if we've watched, uh, he's only watched two shows. We started off, we first thing we showed him to was Sesame Street on HBO. 
but I don't think we're gonna keep doing Sesame Street because it was. I think we did an episode. We did an older episode. We didn't do a, like the most recent stuff. We did some of the older ones. The '70s stuff. It was not that old, but like 2013. 2013, I think this was, but oh, it was like okay. an. It was like 52 minutes long. Yeah, and yep. that that's too long for him. It's just like too much. And like the segments are too long and you can tell he's just not like he really likes when there's songs and music and if something carries on too long, he starts to lose interest. And I think I remember right when it first came to HBO, I think I remember people complaining because it was shorter. So I think maybe the newer episodes are like maybe only half an hour. Hmm. But but the just anyway, just found something on, on Netflix and it's like I don't know what it's called, but it's like basically a bunch of songs and learning things set to like some weird <laughs> weird animation it's like it's it's uh typical kids 3d animation i would say you know yeah nicely done but cheap you can tell um but it works and it was all like you know different songs and like the, the songs are your shapes or this is a song about brushing your teeth and he was just like enthralled and every time one of the ones got over he's like again again and then another <laughs> one star eight so it was like perfect for him and i don't i think we're only gonna do it like maybe on the weekends it's like a family activity we watch one you know one thing mm-hmm. a day with them um just because it i think it's he's he's like they say kids are sponges and he soaks up everything but i think just from like what he did watch on sesame street because they had a focus on like open and close and wheels like he was using those terms so much more throughout the day, just from that one um, instance of being open to that. Yeah. And then just like this, what we watched today, like all of a sudden that he wanted to like wash his hands, he wanted to go brush his teeth. So it was just like things like that that he's really. Um, That's good. I, I think it would really benefit him. So I think yeah. it's just another medium that'll help his his development and everything. Because I mean, he got this train set for Christmas. One of those little, little they're like the little, little wooden tracks that you can snap together. And yeah, we were just uh, playing right with some of those earlier today. God. It's it's been the one toy he's 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 never been attached to anything like this. That's all he does. But it consists of him like pulling the tracks apart and then asking me to fix it. That's pretty yeah, much how he'll yeah, constantly yeah. play it. And I'm just and so it's always Daddy fix it, Daddy fix it, Daddy fix it. Aiden, because he can say his name now before you used to always say nay nay. Now you can say Aiden. So it's always Aiden, Aiden, Daddy fix it. Daddy fix it. It's like a song. Daddy, Daddy fix it. It's just like, it's, it's, like, I love that we're doing this. But if I hear Daddy fix it one more time, <laughs> Daddy fix it. Uh, so that's, uh, that's really, I was like, nice. oh, I'm just going to, I don't have a lot to say, but I'm going to ramble for 15 minutes anyway. Well, it's amazing then, how you can do that. I will. How about this? I'll, You've I, got big news, I, don't, I think. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, I do. I don't have a lot to say about the holidays other than it's, I mean, it's long. I agree with your first traveling. bill of point because I feel oh, like garbage. Yes. I, know, I haven't stepped on a scale, and I'm not going to for at least two more weeks until I think I have things two under control months. a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, well, because we have all this food, not just leftovers and stuff. Those are gone now, but we, I get candy for as – as oh my gosh! Yes, my dad gave like me that. a ton of it. We threw it all away. Nice. You could have donated it. Jeez. Well, we ate a bunch of it first, but then we threw oh. it away. <laughs> In my mind, you, know, you so ate like, like two let's pieces, not get crazy and then here. you were just like, "I don't really like this candy," and then you threw it away. <laughs> um. So, other than eating all the things and and feeling like uh, I have a new lease on life because I can eat these things. We uh we had an ultrasound, Jason. Yeah, and uh, this was last a late Saturday. Night, a later night party. Yeah, it was at seven fifteen. That's crazy. It was on a Saturday, but then yeah, seven p.m. too. On top of that, yes, I think they go until like nine or something. Wow, and, and as early as like five in the morning because I had a really early one one time, and she's always had late ones. So, um, I I think it's because they usually have someone there for. Um, emergencies anyway, because mm-hmm. it's also an ER. So, oh, okay. I think that's partially the reason. I Man, it's nice that there's options like that for people that have, you know. Yeah, and instead of just the, instead of just like, oh, you have to come Monday through Friday from eight to five when you're probably going to be at work. So. <laughs> yep. And uh, it's only ten minutes away, if that. So it's it's very simple for us. Oh, nice. So we got to learn the gender of our child. This during this uh, thing. And it wasn't a for sure thing. Cause you never know if the kids are going to cooperate. This is also the one where they had to take pictures of the heart, the, the vitals, 
you know, the organs and everything and make sure everything looks good from, from that standpoint. And the baby was not cooperating very well. So we have to go back and get some other ones because they weren't good uh, news. This is enough. the gender of your child, but also it looks like their heart is slowly it, eating itself. No, so yeah. we're, well, we're going to check that. The lady started talking about it and we were, she was like, yeah, you're going to have to come back and get some more pictures. And I was like, Oh, what's wrong? Why are you saying it so casually if there's something wrong? Right. But it, she was like, because um, the baby's not going in a position that I can image these things very well. So depending mm. on the doctor they want. So I was like, oh, why didn't you warn me? It wasn't a problem. <laughs> like it wasn't anything to be worried about. So are you ready? Now, your guess was, what was your guess that of the My gender? My wife and I both feel that you're having a daughter. That was the popular guess. A lot of people had guessed that. I, but then part of me was like, I feel that, but I'm like part of me is then again, I'm like, it's, they're just going to get Ike 2.0. That was my <laughs> other. Well, would you like to know? Would you all like to know the, the gender of my child? I will speak for the community at large. I will be your mantle. I will be the voice of the people. Ooh. And I'm going to say yes. <laughs> yes, they do. Okay. Well. For baby number two, I I'm will. also gonna people. I'm gonna have to yell at my wife. So brace your ears after, <laughs> after this. Hey, babe. <laughs> Maybe I'll mute myself and not, and then forget to unmute me. I am going to have a daughter. I knew it. <laughs> I, I, I tried really hard not to be like yes, yes in the in the ultrasound room. It's like I won or something. I'm like, yeah, I told you. <laughs> so I'm having a daughter. And I, ho I hollered at her, but she don't think she heard me. Oh. I need to know reactions. I have to go tell her. Hold okay, on. you go tell her. Um, so I'm I'm excited. I'm not really, you know, some people are like, Oh, your your entire world's gonna change now, which is probably true from an emotional standpoint, but I'm I'm excited. My wife and I kind of talked about it too, and she's um She's excited, but kind of a little scared to have a daughter because now it's it's she's a, a mom to um, her her daughter and her mom and her have an interesting relationship, so to speak. So we'll just leave it at that. Um, but we were talking about it and it's kind of nice because in a way they don't have to our children won't have to. um like compete with each other, I guess it, it's a lot easier to just for daughter to go with mom and or daughter to go with dad and not feel like both of our sons have to go Ooh. or whatever. I what agree was, with everything Lucas just said, guys. Mm, I can, I can, and there was popcorn. So I had to like shove that. Oh, you need too. popcorn. I was just saying that we were um, thinking in a way that it's kind of nice because now you don't feel like if you have two sons, it's kind of like, I have a feeling that you kind of have to do everything together because like if one wants to do one, something, the other one's going to want to like, there's almost mm. a kind of not a rivalry, but, uh, you know, uh, I don't know what I want to call it, but it, that you want to fit in and you want to be treated equally, I guess. Whereas with a daughter and a son, I don't think it's as weird or there's not as much of a pull for them both to have to do the same thing. You know what I yeah. mean? Um, I thought you were going to take the direction of <clears throat> now there's not, you know, if you had another son, then there's part of you who's like, well, maybe we'd like to have a daughter. And you keep oh, expanding dude, the keep family. Going and going. But now no. you got one. I mean, now you're gonna now be we like, can be done. Oh. Time to chop We got it best off. of both worlds. Don't need this anymore. <laughs> yep. 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 No. Well, that, that too. But, but uh, yeah, I, I think we're, we're, Ultimately, we are happy to have a daughter. You're in a good place. Awesome. So. Congratulations. Thank you. And then other than that, I mean. Is it, it going to be Isaac and Isabel? No. That's the one thing that we are. we With Isaac, we uh, kept the name. Because if you remember, you guys were jokingly saying it was going to be Axel Rose. Axel. Um, oh, yeah. So Community. We, we got to come up with a new name for baby Rose, too. Um, so we're keeping Much the like name. Much like Axel. Yes. You'll have to find a girl a uh, celebrity with last name of Rose. Mm. Impossible, I'm sure. Um, I'm sure there's probably like, uh, I'll find one. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, I'll find, I'll find one. one. Google. I'll find one. Um, so uh, we keep the name a secret because we don't want to have to like 
make it no. everything gender neutral and, and stuff. It just makes it easier for family members to get gifts if they want to, or, or be excited for, you know, yeah. but then we also get to have a surprise and, uh, you know, nobody's buying anything monogrammed anyway. So it's not like they need Ugh. to know the name. Yeah. So, so that's that. That's baby number two. Now we're uh, now all we need to do is buy a minivan and go to soccer practice and we're. You gotta, you gotta have a bigger house now too. Time to sell oh, the house. Trust and... me, I I would love a bigger house. That's one of my. We dreams. were. Uh, I woke I woke up this morning and Jess was looking at houses and she's like, we, you know, we gotta start talking about where he's going to school and I'm like, oh crap, she's right, or if he's gonna stay home and it's like, like a lot of times I'm I am here and I'm like, there's a lot of stuff I like about this place and there's a lot of stuff I don't like about this place. So I'd be like, it'd be kind of nice, but then it's like, oh god, I don't want to pack. I don't want to deal with the selling and buying process. Yeah, yeah. So there's two sides of it. You know, we're not just sitting on looking here and just buying. That's easy. Now you got to sell and buy yeah. the timing and then moving. And then what happens if one's delayed and then you're, you don't have a place to live. Yep. <sighs> it's nice to think about, but terrible to actually do. I would imagine you, you, you'll get a kick out of this. The one house she looked at, um, it was on Martindale. Oh, that's uh over by our our friend uh, Mikey, but a different block, like on the opposite, like on the opposite yeah, side that... of the school. That's there. It's just like a cul-de-sac version of. Oh, I was gonna Martindale. say because that, that road runs... goes for quite a ways, I think. Yeah, I was like, that's interesting. So, well, so, there you go. There you go. <laughs> so that that gets you guys recapped with what we've been up to. I hope your holidays went well. I hope you had a great New Year. I hope you were safe and happy. And I hope Santa brought you all the things that uh, Santa or Captain Hanukkah, you know, you got all the things you, you were on your list. Maybe that weren't. I don't know. I hope you just did all the cool things. I know. I know I did. I hope you. How did you guys like the mixtape? I think that was a very nice touch that Lucas put together. Thank you. And, uh, you know, we've got some good response on that. And so what I thought is, you know, because we talked about this, you and I had toyed around with this idea a while back, but I wasn't sure what the reception to something like that would was ever going to be. And I think now at least we're in the preliminary talks about maybe we're going to have a Patreon reward tiered around something similar to that, we, you know, we've, we've, I don't know if we'll go with the name, but we've talked about flex Devos radio and I like the direction, what you had talked about on our discord server, uh, flex slash discord. If you didn't already know, yes. um, was, you know, th- you know, we, it'd be a monthly thing because let's not get crazy here. We can't do this on a weekly basis or even bi-weekly. That's just, that's a bit yeah. much. And I don't I think mean, you people could, would want it I don't think people much. could want it. You might be able to do it, but I mean, I think, you know, content, the quality would suffer. But to theme it each month, and I don't know if that's something we would have people vote on for the next month's theme. Well, I think actually, you know, I think we should do that. I think we should come up with like, you know, three choices and let people vote on them. Yeah. And then and we'll it, have a theme like heroic or um, we can be or. Hellscape. I don't know. Or Hellscape. Yeah, we can be RPG it can be towns. Actual, it really can yeah, be. Yeah, it can be it can be a, a mood or a title or uh a, a more like genre genre specific. Yeah, it's a lot of different directions Holiday. you go with it. And that and that makes it easier because then you're looking for specific things rather than just okay, what how do I what am I yeah. doing? Before, well, and it, it could like, even it could even be like games, Mega Man. You yeah, know, that would be easy. Ooh. Yeah. So um So that'll be and I think I think with the themes too, we'll obviously take suggestions and we're just going to have a, I think we'll have a list and then whatever got voted on before, I think like one should move on. Like the one that was second highest, just that way we don't have to think about whether or not we used one or not yet. Eventually we'll just go through all of them. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah. And uh, are we making that um, exclusive or is that exclusive or timed yeah that's the dilemma because at some point you know i we've talked about it, i didn't want to ever lock content behind a paywall but at the same time too this isn't this is extra content that we're this is extra content exactly and i think at some point too you want to not that i think someone's gonna be like oh i'm giving it a dollar so i can listen to the i, I don't <laughs> yeah. think that's the case but at some point you, you want to continue to have to have things that are beneficial or the reasons for people you want them to feel like they're getting more. I guess they're getting yeah, getting more, but getting their money's worth at the same time too. Yeah. So I think those are all. We st- we stretch a dollar pretty far around these parts. You get <laughs> you get a lot for a dollar. That's and right. As you know, so. I'd buy that. 
for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, gosh. I I mean, yes. So here's the other well, question then. Do we continue to do overclocked remix in the show? I think we do. Yeah, because I think we always, got to. That's always random anyway. So. I, I like that. I mean, it's not like... I, I like it because it breaks up the show. I don't know how many people actually listen to it every month. There might be people that, that skip it over. But I like that it, that it's there. I like it gives a chance to showcase something. Um, I think we've turned on a lot of people to the site and to that type of music. And I, I think it's just a cool thing that helps differentiate us from the millions of other podcasts out there that are doing something similar or maybe not doing something similar. I think it's just a good piece of, of content that we have on our show that I've always I've always enjoyed. So I like it. So it's going to stay. Sure, for sure. For sure. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Um, you know, it is what it is. It is, oh boy, there it is. It is what it is. That's right. That's the Flexpose unofficial <laughs> uh, theme. Hey, you gotta burn that bush. You gotta you burn that bush. I still need to make that shirt. <sighs> hey, that's that's Flexpose goal for 2019. The burn that bush becomes a reality. Yes. December. Speaking of that, I'm gonna have to sure order. I, I need to order shirt. another sample for my my baseball tee because I hate the one I have. It's just like too big. The large is like huge. You get I lost it. in it. It's like it has become a pajama shirt. Oh, so it's been demoted. It's become it's been demoted to pajama shirt status. You know, well, like, depends on how how much you wear your pajamas, I guess. <laughs> if you well, wear a I don't, lot, then I mean, I don't I don't wear pajamas, but I like to have lounge wear around the house right. or when I get yeah. out of bed. So yeah. Now, yeah. if it was like this is the only shirt I wear when I have to do something like change oil, then that would really Ooh. be a demotion. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's that's where the medium is at right now because it's like there's no logo anyway. It's like slowly flickling. I mean, it's the best shirt I ever bought. Everyone should get one. Right, Excuse and the me. quality it's, is without it's, question. It, it's, <laughs> it's the best. Follow the wash instructions. Uh, you know, looking back at 2018, it's been I don't know. It was always easier to kind of look at the growth from one year to another, or look at the podcast and look where things have gone, or how things have changed, and what we've done, and what we've accomplished. But now it's it's getting harder. It's getting hard to do that. A because I think we've been doing this for so long. A lot of the years blend together. Yeah. And but B, it's like I don't know. At some point, I I hate taking this route, but a lot of times though, I don't care so much of what resonates or what I think resonates and what doesn't. It just depends on what I get satisfaction from and what I think is a good product, and that's what we do. You know, I I guess I don't I don't worry about the the small details. Or well, the, and I think that we benefit from not being so focused on a specific thing. Cause then you don't have to worry about a specific community and whether or not yeah. they're paying attention to you. I mean, let's face it. Probably the best thing we did in 2018 that we need to continue to do with the show Try. is we said, we put a, <laughs> that yes, but we put a roadmap out and said, okay, this is our content roadmap and this is the stuff we want to try to do. So we kind of knew where we were doing each week ahead of time and kind of, yeah, knew that what, kept it varied. Uh, and then we had like reoccurring uh, bits. Well, no, I shouldn't say bits, but re- reoccurring show Segments. themes. So, you know, we had yeah. our 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 games that made us. We had our game nights. We had Netflixation. We had um, our top threes. So we had – so it's – in 2019, do we want to continue that? Do we want to revisit that, maybe change some things out? What I would like to do in 2019 that I, I, that I think we didn't do enough of in 2018 is continue to – not just network, but by having a guest on occasionally. Yeah, I think we it's always good. Yeah, I mean, we had what we had uh, Sean and Josh, and I feel like we had, except when we had like an actual guest host step in, like on episodes I couldn't make or something of that nature. But I mean, in terms of having a third person on the show with us, we didn't we didn't do a whole lot of that. Um, it's true. As much as I would have liked, or you know, to branch out and maybe get some new faces on there instead of going toward the usual flux supposed bag of tricks and, and pulling out um, get the it, usual out suspects. Getting, getting out the usual. And, you know, speaking of guest voices, I, I, I would, I want to have, I think we, we need to really examine a, some cert, sort of callow segment. Oh my God. Down yes. the road. Callow soapbox. Cause for callow, the buttery I, voice. I said this to Lucas after I listened to it. I could listen to you talk about anything. It's true. Anything. It's so good. It's so good. It is very good. 
much like how the Mega Dads have uh, Luke Lore have his, he has that feature beat every uh, episode. And we could set something up with Callow, and it'd be, it'd be good. It'd be really good. You so, better, you gotta, yeah. you gotta think of your, um, what your segment's gonna be, Callow. That's your homework. Ooh. <laughs> you, you didn't, you don't have a choice in this. You, you're on our show now. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but you, uh, you, you, you don't see anything from the Patreon though. Correct. Sorry, that all goes to our our expenses and our. That is right. That is right. Um, and you you don't get to win anything anymore either. That's I mean, part of the deal. You can't really split anything three ways. You know what I mean? You got to split it in half. Ooh, That's so much yeah. easier. So. So we'll we'll continue splitting it in half. Is what you're correct. saying? Correct. Yes, exactly. And then you know, maybe Christmas bonus we can talk, but that that's like a year down the road. Not this year. Christmas I, I, is I want my, I want a Christmas bonus. Shh. Shh. I just no, want case no. fans. No, no, get nothing. you can have one of every color case fan. <laughs> that is, your... no, it sounds like, sounds like we're going to buy a new mixer before we buy anything. So yes, no kidding. This mixer has been, so it turns out it's not broken. It's just a it's just not a very high quality. It's, just, it's, it's not good. Level. It's not good. Sorry. I mean, your company is great or whatever, but the actual mixer is, is not great for anybody who cares. It's a, um, Behringer Xenix Q802 USB. Um, don't buy that. It's great. If you want to, if for anybody who will know what I'm talking about, it's great for, if you want to do anything locally, the problem is we're doing what's called a mix minus setup. If you know what that is, then you, then your ears will perk up. It doesn't work very well for that, I found. That's the problem we're having. In which, yeah. really, the layman term terminology is that it makes it so Jason doesn't have to hear himself when he talks. That's what that setup is for. And it doesn't work the way that we thought it would. So, Or that it really should. Should, yes. In, in theory, either. For instance, because. when I when I, when I I do Jason's volume and I like turn it up and down, it turns up other volumes up and down. So... It there's something weird going on. It should it. only turn up my volume. It shouldn't turn up global. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, so frustrating. It's frustrating. So that I guess that's another thing we can look forward to in 2019 is probably an improved mixer setup. Get that. Yes. We you know we, we hope to get um you know, not that we need it, but hey, we might as well. We you know we're gonna do uh probably upgrade our microphones yet again. Yes. Well, because you're be... we're we're looking to go straight XLR, which USB is fine. That's a good place to start. But um, you lose a bit of dynamics when you are using USB. Um, you're losing the analog signal, and it's just getting going straight to digital signal, which tends to be less warm. And uh, we're never going to be buying. We jokingly, I'll every once in a while, I'll send a, every once in a while, I'll send an Amazon link to like a. Th- four hundred dollar three hundred dollar microphone to jason and yeah, i'm like let's get these um and we're not gonna do that but there's a good middle ground that i think that once we get these then we'll just be set basically yeah so yeah and then we talked about getting some more um some mics for local recording options um just as we continue to look down the road and like here's one thing we don't take advantage of and the other some podcasts some po- excuse me some podcasts can't is yeah you, you and i do record separately across the internet like many shows do with hosts that are in different geographic locations but we also yes. live 15 minutes from one another so yes, if we, we wanted do. to we could get together in person and do other things which this month we will be recording the flexible ama so a reminder to everyone if you want to get a question into the flexible ama please questions. send an email to flexible ama at gmail.com nice. we would greatly appreciate nice. that and so we'll be working out details on i think towards the end of the month is when we and have we'll a pencil be right filming now. that as a video that where we're both yes. in the same room so it yeah. won't just be this. Uh, it'll yep. be a little bit more than a little bit more produced than going yes. live. And it yeah. won't be yeah. live either. Also. No, no, it won't be live. A little more production. This will take some time. And then, you know, we'll release that. Uh, our the patrons will get an exclusive uh, first access. And then, you know, about a week later, I'll push out to everyone else. So mm-hmm. 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 we look forward to that. So it's just ways to help diversify the, diversify the portfolio with your stocks and bonds and your gold. Just put all your money in gold. Never, yeah. I was gonna say, gold's the safest. Gold bond. Hey, you know what? Recap going way back to the first topic of tonight. You know, I, I see this all goes to show the tra- show. I should have just put all my money in Ethereum, like Tom Server wanted me to. All my Christmas money into Ethereum, and then 
I went then my car went into broken and then I could just sold it and it made like triple my money. Did it did it shoot up again? Oh, I don't know. I don't know any. I haven't, oh, okay. I haven't looked at it. I, I, okay. Well, I've uh I took all of my money out of um that program I was using because I have seen you were just I, losing money. Yeah, I went from I mean not a lot. I went from twenty five dollars to twenty, but I'm just like how how much lower can I get? I might as well just take twenty dollars out because if I were to if I were to take that and act like I did, you know, two thousand dollars and had twenty five hundred dollars and it went down to two thousand dollars, I would have lost five hundred dollars. That's a significant amount of money. Um so I was like, yeah, screw this. I, I'm not I, in my mind. I was going to make so much money. It's so easy. I don't know why everyone doesn't do it. You know, that type of thing. But I'm just like, I can't keep watching this and caring about it. Yeah. Yeah. No, thank you. So, so I guess my 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 future goal would, for 2019 is to continue to, you know, we always try for continuous improvement, but to continue that route and, they, you know, to continue to give reasons to people to support the show. I would like to try to continue to reach more people. I hate to think that you've, you know, we've reached our, our, our plateau, our peak, you know, our ceiling, yeah. you know, but at the same point, if you know, if that's, is the case, then I'm okay with that too. Because I don't know, like we've always talked about with the show, we have a, we have a close knit group of people. Uh, we may not have the, the most listeners out there and that's fine. But I think we had this close knit group of cool people that, uh, that we get to talk to every day and that's that more than makes up for it. We got people, we got people getting together in Austin, Texas for Epic music shows, yeah, trying to recruit people true. to go to Florida for music shows. Remember, remember when there's talks about uh, having the, the cabin, the recreational cabin party up yeah. here. In, in we need to, it, we'll call so, it FlexCon. FlexCon Flex 2019. God. Well, if, cabin in the woods. Mike will come out to that one. Well, he'll bring the the KY jelly, the 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 fifty five gallon drum. Hey guys, what do you want the drum? What? Sounds, why does he sound like the Dougler? <laughs> hey guys, far, far out party. <laughs> I got cheese and boggle. I, I don't know. I, at, least we, at least we're still in a. You know, I guess I should just be thankful that we still have a media. We're still. Have a medium, and we have reason that we get to fool around for an hour and a half each each Tuesday and doing this, and yes. our wives and families are okay with it. So that's the, that's the moral of the story, Lucas. I, anything you would like to add here? I don't know. No, it's I think a weird, I it's think a weird segment, but yeah, I think for those who have zoned out of this conversation, all you need to know is that we are striving to bring you better content, expand the show a little bit, and and just try stuff. I think that's our biggest strength is that we can just try stuff. And if it doesn't work, who cares? Like, yeah, we'll just, I don't know anybody else that tries to do the game night stuff. And sometimes it works great. Other nights yeah. it probably fails horribly, but we keep trying. It, and you usually know? either way, it ends up being entertaining. At least I think so. Cause if it goes terribly wrong, then you get to laugh and point at us and say we're stupid. And hey, if it works, if it's out, not entertaining, you just got to hit that skip button a few times and you're, you're through it and yep. it's fine. Yeah. Now yeah. Hurting us. You know, we learn our lessons along the way. Like maybe don't play a game where you just hold down the automatic rifle shoot shooty shoot button, and then it's just in the background forever, and all you hear is brrrr. all you hear us play is a game. Yeah, we're shooting all the time and, and constantly pushing WASD. So it's just. <laughs> and uh, what was I talking about? And oh. uh, what was I talking about? <laughs> Get up. Oh, sorry. This is a very intense section. I can't focus. Uh, good times but good no times. I, I, some people like enjoy like the peek behind the curtains when you get that on some fourth podcast so that that's our that's yeah. our that's all you get from us right yeah. now yeah as usual we want to bring more to you our dear listeners yeah. well, we want to give you a reason to come back and a lot of people support us because you just you like us as people and you might have gotten connected to us for other podcasts because there's a whole little community or group that we are kind of mixed up around in we're still the weird cousin of that group, but maybe some of you like to think of us as that cool guy that you hope to aspire to be someday. And we yeah. want to, we don't want to let you down, kid. We're the you cool know? uncles that drink beer and uh, lean up against our 1970s muscle cars. But even though, like, even though our, our leather jacket is a little tight and smells and like smoke, clothes don't fit the way they should. And we're kind of not really as cool as we think we are, but we still pull it off. Yeah. With style, you know, with a plume. That's us. 
<laughs> That's us. I don't get to use that word very often. Well, you know, we talked about an overclock remix. Yes, we have spoken on Maybe this. Maybe it's time to play the first overclock remix of 2019. Uh, uh, ooh. What if, what if I spin this wheel, which I'm going to do right now? I bet you it's going to come up from Skies or Arcadia. What if it's 19? Wouldn't that be ooh, some, It's not going to be. be made up. It's nine. Nine. Hey, it's Skies of Arcadia. Wow. <laughs> but but it sounds metal. I was least. hoping for Mega Man 3 because it's you got the power. Or you've Wind got Waker. the touch. You've got you the, got the touch. touch. Oh, copyright strike. Here we go. Oh, God. Well, you did it so well. I knew exactly what you were doing. Hey, Rebecca e. Tripp's got a, a song on the top list. Say what say what we will, but she pumps out the, the music. She is so. a prolific artist. She is. I think she was actually almost on the... I, she either... No, no. She almost was on the mixtape. But I couldn't have that. Sorry, Rebecca. <laughs> That's that's the worst meme we've ever we've created. We're I I don't know if this we is do, true, but I'd like to think that we're the only ones who are talking about Re- Rebecca E. Trip as much as we do, and she has no clue that this dumb little podcast is talking about her music. Uh, you know, could be. I know, you know, I uh, hope so. The overclock. Well, there is an overclock remix official podcast. It's gone through a bit of turmoil, and it doesn't get released as much as it should anymore. But we never had that, that problem. <laughs> I used to be on their Discord, but I made a, a big effort to like eliminate. I eliminated like half of my Discord servers. So, really is it because you just get a thousand different at everyone's? And I know you um, have that turned no, off, but still, I, I mute that. But I get triggered by the unread like channels. Ah. Uh. So I make an effort to always stay on top of that, but eventually you're just not, you're not, you know, you're like, you I know. gotta clear all these. Yeah. You're not involved reds. in any of the conversation. You're just getting rid of it. And it's just too much. That, there's just too much going on that you can't ever hope to be involved. Like there's a decent pot. There's a podcast that I, you know, I, I do enjoy. I don't listen to as much as I do, but it has a huge discord server. Huge. We're talking, I'm talking like 300 active people at a time. And there, I mean, there's tons of channels, but there's just so much conversation happening. You can't, unless you can't just, you can't stay on top of it, you know? Yeah. And everything. And especially when like I've made it, I think one thing I really did this year was make an effort to improve ours and to get ours a reason, a destination for people to be in and have a, a voice there. So with that, making that my effort, I can't really focus on, you know, other stuff. And I've tried to, you know, really push our brand a little more so i can't be involved in everything and plus when you're in so many channels or servers that are have all having the same conversations i mean that that gets old too i'm only yeah. in two different discords one of which is ours God, and i still feel like a, i talk that would be amazing the same stuff just to be in two i'm in seven right now my my god and like there's there's two i don't even want to be in anymore but i feel like i'm a dink if i leave them because i know the people that are like creating them no jams and not talking about your servers. <laughs> Chill out. All I know. So. Oh, oh, yeah, I guess that's technically three. But I don't visit there as much. Sorry. So food for thought. That was that was a weird tangent we went off on. Just <laughs> but hey, got yeah, you plenty of time to get the remix set up. Yeah, so <laughs> I gave you a thumbs up because we're we're ready, dude. We're ready. Our remix night is from Skies of Arcadia. I'm guessing there's a new. Uh. uh Oh, whew. your your camera was frozen. So yeah, I, I lost internet out for like a half a second. That was good. God, you have uh, you got a local backup 